What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tasia Nice. I'm coming to y'all in a bit. Let me know. I'm coming to y'all. YP14 documentary uploaded by Desired Oss Rap. 22K views eight days ago. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to do too much talking. Man. Okay, jump straight into this. YP, that's my boy. He got the bars. You feel me? He got the bars. And he, shit, he, he ain't capping in his raps. I mean. I don't think he kept it. You know, he been in jail, got out, came home, got the diamonds on, you feel what I'm saying? Right back, he came back, you know what I'm saying? Right right where he left off, you feel me? So look, if you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe, press the post notification bell for notifications. And if you've already been here before, you know what to do, man. Grab your gas, grab your food, drink, whatever you need to come chill with the litters, chillers. You're actually channel on YouTube, let's get to the video, man. YP is a rapper from Mount Druitt, Western Sydney. He's also a member of the notorious rap group 1-4. He's also known to have some of the most savage and violent lyrics, and he can flow better on a drill track than nearly anyone in the world. This is his story so far. YP grew up in Mount Druitt, Western Sydney. This is something he repped very proudly in his music. He was exposed to a lot of crime and gang activity as a teenager. He's also the younger brother of fellow 1-4 member JMs. Early on, he did not know that. I did not know they was brothers. Musically, he took a lot of inspiration from London Drill, stating that Harlem Spartans were his biggest influence. Who's your favourite rapper? Or I don't know. Harlem Spartans, huh? Harlem Spartans, I don't know. YP is also the youngest member of 1-4. YP never featured in any of the earlier 1-4 songs although he would always appear in the music videos. He was more just treating rap as a hobby, and being the youngest of the group, he never had the confidence to show the other boys his verses. When was the, I think it was a drink up at my house. Yeah. I remember we used to uh, chill in the back. It, our, our garage was the spot. Anyone that knew us, who, who knew who we were surrounded with, they didn't lock. No knock on the door, just boom, lift the garage, yo, what's going on, this yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. Boom, we used to chill in there and she locked that. And uh, yeah, that's where I feel like I, I started rapping. So it was one drink up in particular. I think it was New Year's. I don't even think my brother was out at the time. I think he was still in inside. JMs? Yeah, JMs. Yep, yep. And like the boys were. He's your older. Hey man, shout out Spanian, man. Real one. Real one from Australia, man. Shout out Spanian. Yeah, brother. verses and shit. Yeah. Yep, yep. My older brother. And then I just like, you know, because that lifestyle we're living. I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna rap too. I want to tell my story as well, you know? Yeah, heck yeah. So then, like, I jumped up, we started spinning bars, this and that, and then, yeah, kind of picked up from there. Yeah. While One Four already had a little bit of a buzz, YP's first official release was on their track, Shanks and Shivs. YP seemed to flow effortlessly on this track. Bro, he'd been around so long. The only ones I knew was JMs and Spinny. They was the only ones I knew of. Like, I knew the other members was in the background, but he was, he was moving in silence. <laughs> because I had no clue why he was in all these videos. He was in that video where he had that black shirt, the black mask with the black hat on his head. He was in that video, didn't know he was in there. Then he was in Shanks and Shields, which is a very good song. I reacted to that. If you ain't see it, go tune in. Like, it was really just chilling in the background. Just It was really JMs and Spinny who I guess you could say was the stars on one four. And then, you know, he started taking rap more serious and he been snapping. You feel me? Like he ain't had a bad verse yet on my soul. Think up quick, get in the car and grip that steel. We wore like swords and shields. That's our day right for the snap. Cause my team, we right for the kill. Trying to drill them boys like shh. The way his blood got spilled. Shanks and shields. After this track drop, the hype around one four was crazy. Everyone wanted to know who YP was. The anticipation for them to drop the next track was brewing and brewing. Then, on the 31st of March, 2019, the Australian hip-hop scene would be changed forever. 1-4 dropped their track, The Message. The buzz at the time around this track is something I can't even explain. Even getting co-signs from Dave and Skepta from the UK. And on this track, YP dropped some of the coldest bars we've ever seen in Australian hip-hop history. Boom. Retaliation is a must, ain't no maybe, it's all bust It's all what, the one got knocked, ha, I guess that makes them funny Then backed up the success of See, 
again, I did not know he was on that track. He was always masked up in the background. And then he would always like go, he'd always go last. So I, like, I, obviously I knew of him, but I didn't know who he was. I didn't know his name, nothing until he came home. You feel me? So to see that he was on them legendary tracks, you know what I'm saying? I'm mean, definitely make him a legend as well. You feel me? But I'm glad he decided to take rapping more seriously and uh, not really focus too much on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Even though he do be dissing. You know, all of them be dissing, but um, I'm just glad he decided to take a better route. I'm glad to see them winning. You feel me? Then the man said in the song, you know, this ain't no disrespect to 20, 21 District. I, I'm just quoting the song. He said, 21? Huh? I think one of them got knocked. Now that mean they 20. Like, that's, that's so disrespectful. Like, that's so disrespectful. Like, I'm just hoping that they can keep it away from the streets. 21 District can keep it away from the streets. 800 can keep it away from the streets. Now it's an over keep away from the streets. Everybody just get out the streets and go get some money. I mean, so one for getting money. Man, they got the jewels and the and the and the, and the VBs in their mouth and everything. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I, I, I want to see this group be big, bro. Like, I want to see this group get big. Like, statues big. You feel what I'm saying? This is the message with a track called Spot the Difference. They both now have hundreds of millions of views over all platforms. With his ruthless lyrics and elegant flows, he was soon becoming a fan favorite. While things were looking up musically for YP, Every music video and every interview, he seemed to have his face covered up. The reason his face was covered is because he was involved in a violent brawl in 2019. His co-offenders were Lex and Selly, also from the group 1-4. He was granted bail at the time, which allowed him to keep making music. He knew at the time that he was going to get sentenced to a long prison stint. The only question was, how long? I was running, I, was, I had a couple cases going at the yeah. time. And uh, yeah, so look. Like for me to, to be in front of the screen, yeah. it was very uncomfortable, so I just said, look bro, look, from a law perspective and shit yeah. like that, I can't have my face up there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then That's I solely why I was uh, wearing that mask at the time. Yo. He also featured on some- Okay, so that's why he always had the mask on. I'm thinking he had the mask on because he was a, uh, you know, a, a big stepper. I didn't know he was fighting the case and he just, you know, he didn't want to have his face covered up. Okay, God, okay, we learned a lot, you feel me? You learn something new every day. We learned a lot. UK posse track titled The Coldest Link Up Part 2 and Mattis of the Mattis. He absolutely killed these verses. Free Free all the members up on detention I won't wait too many to mention Free French, he's doing a stretch Cause he didn't sing like One Direction Violent men with violent intentions Still smoke boys for my section They doing drill for attention Scored on George lad and they left him But we, we keep that shit on the D-Lot Round here got stick to the G-Code Still trying to find them boys like Nemo And put him on a shirt like T-Lot Ha ha Ay, so that's all I can't chat about mugs Same day when Bo done took that L Step round there everyone He knew his court case was fast approaching And he was ready for sentence he decided to famously take off his mask in their track in the beginning. Then he only dropped one more track before oh, getting that. sentenced, which was Welcome to Prison. This track showed why 1-4 were ahead of their opposition. The track only featured YP and JMs, who were blood brothers. And the final scene shows YP entering the prison while JMs leaves it. Oh, okay. it's coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now, man. I remember that. Y'all was telling me in the comments that that was his brother and that he was leaving just now checking out and he was going into jail. But I just didn't know why he was going to jail. I didn't know anything about him. I just knew. Mm, ain't that something? We, we, we getting on track, y'all. While this may look like just a film clip to most people, it was a harsh reality for JMs, YP and their family and a lot of other people in the area. Then, the day finally arrived. YP was sentenced to a four year prison stint with a two year non-parole period. Unfortunately for YP, this is when 1-4 were really starting to gain international success. While fellow 1-4 member Lex was also sentenced to four years in prison at the time, JMs and Spenny really held it down for the crew. While YP was locked up, he missed out on a lot of success. He missed out on collaborating on tracks with the likes of ASAP Ferg, Hetty One, Stormzy, AJ Tracy and Dutch of Ellie. I couldn't mm. even imagine what he would have sounded like on some of them tracks. While incarcerated, he said he never felt any jealousy towards the rest of the group, as it was his own mistakes that landed him in prison in the first place. Yeah, look. Yeah, nah, I was all happy for them, bro, because, like, you know how it is. Growing up, you're always trying to, like, make a hustle, this and that. So you're always respecting like a, a hustle. So yeah. like, especially if it's my brothers, bro, I can't hate on that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like kind of like sit and think, bro, that should be me. Like, 
why they you know going and doing that so like yeah, for yeah. me seeing it from like the outsider's perspective in it was like fuck yeah you know my brothers are doing their thing i just hope that when i do get out the yeah. platform the wave's still going that we still can going, like, i can still make music you know yeah, and i yeah. can still make my earn and shit like that yeah yeah ultimately while yp was locked up it had fans itching for him to return home then in early december 2021 yp was finally released from prison this had one four fans ecstatic and they couldn't wait for yp to return on a track he didn't keep fans waiting long at all in early february he dropped his debut solo track titled out of sight the song racked up millions and millions of views in just a couple of weeks. Throughout the song, YP touches on some personal issues and some past mistakes. For example, not seeing his sisters grow up and coming out and one of his friends not being around anymore. Since being released, he also jumped on Spanion's podcast, The Search, where he talks about learning from his past mistakes, being a good role model and not being the person that he once was. 1-4 has also released two more tracks since YP's been released, titled Cruise Control and Cap. YP picked up exactly where he left off and didn't miss a beat. I think why YP is a fan favourite is because you can hear the realness and conviction in his voice. I think I can speak on behalf of all 1-4 fans. We're glad to have YP back and we can't wait to see what he brings us in the future. This has been the story so far by Desired Oz Rap. <laughs> He was ready for it. If you've got a phone or a mother, bring that shit out. Turn the light on. Because this shit's going to be happy. It's not that shit. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to Auckland, but you know, I am. I've got to get to do it. <laughs> Mama always said, pray for the best, expect the worst. One for the bonuses, again. if you got yeah, nothing, you work. If you're doing it wrong, you're going to be willing to work. Did a search and grab the dosh, got to get to it first. See, I grew up in church, but I had devils in my ears saying, fuck it, controlling my young mind like a puppet. Had me skipping school, dishes, saddies in the alley as a youngin'. Never a boss, bro, I was running. That was a documentary of YP, man, so far, you know what I'm saying? Definitely a... Uh, a fun, exciting, and also kind of sad story. You know, he missed out four years of his life. You know what I'm saying? Missed out on big features, big songs. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, they all legendary, man. Like, they all legendary. One, four legendary. I love reacting to this group, man. I love just getting to know more about them. You feel me? I love getting to know more about them. I love uh being able to rack to them be able to listen to their music have fun listening to their music and just getting to relate to them you feel what i'm saying just from what they come from and what they've been doing you feel me so i'm glad to see these dudes win man yp came home he did four man he you know what i'm saying he did four years you know what i'm saying he ain't no rat or nothing you know what i'm saying came home got a big chain you know he came home to success you know what i'm saying shout out jay and this for holding down man free selling man they gave me 10 free selling man you know what i'm saying um that was the documentary though man i learned a lot uh, didn't know they was brothers. Well, I know I probably knew back then, but I forgot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, like, I, you know, he already, I know he'd been home and all that. He'd been home for a while, but welcome home, YP, man. Welcome home, YP. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to go to 1 4, you know what I'm saying? All oh, y'all go. Some people say y'all all goats, you feel me? Welcome home, YP. Keep doing your thing. Keep grinding. Keep working. Keep getting better and become an even bigger legend than you already are. But look, look, I like the video that makes you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all press that post notification bell notification. Make sure y'all chase your dreams of hard work, dedication, and prayer. And staying strong mentally, physically, and spiritually. With that being said, face it myself.